what could be in this shiny silver mystery box. Well, I promise it's RC related. Some of you will be pleasantly surprised. Some of you might be disgusted. Let's find out. Hey everyone, I'm Nate. And I'm Abby. Amelia's taking a nap and Popeye is swabbing the poop decks in the AC, back at home having a good time. We're the RC Sailors, welcome to our RC family. We've got some EDF jets in the air, which is awesome. They're nice, it looks like a nice quality jet, very bright green. I really like seeing that here today. Get a, get a shot of this, Abby. Uh, Woo! Ooh, I've got my eye on a couple jets. Uh, I don't know if we'll make it happen this year, but that'll be cool if we do. Anyway, about a month ago, we made a video titled, oh, I like that. No more drones, we're done reviewing drones, and we needed a break from drones. We had been featuring so many bad ones just over and over and over, we felt like a broken record. A lot of you guys love those drone videos, however. If you go back and look at our video, we're done reviewing drones, it actually has a ton of views, and I'd say 95% of the comments were just you guys telling us the many, many, many reasons you don't want us to stop doing drone videos. And a lot of you were happy with us taking a break, but it's been about a month. Oh, that's awesome. That's what we should be flying today. Uh, it's been about a month, and so we're back at it, and I thought, what better way to start than something that we, we had this a month or two ago, ready to review on the channel, but again, we needed a break. So this is when we picked this up, just you know, a few months ago. This is a Potenzic drone. Comes in at, I'm going to say, a mediocre budget-friendly price at about 200 bucks. Now you'll catch it on sale for closer to 160 or so sometimes, maybe around uh, Amazon Prime Day and stuff. But we'll have this linked in the description box below. What we're dealing with today, we're going to take a look at a ready-to-fly GPS brushed motor uh, camera drone with the ability to tilt the camera up and down. This is a budget-minded, hobby-grade-ish drone. I think that the only thing holding this back as of right now are those brushed motors, but that's not the end of the world. Some people have given brushed motors a bad rap, but they can hold up for a long time if taken care of properly, just not abused. So let's put this drone in the air, see how it performs. At the end of the video, I'll show you the shiny box, everything that comes inside. It's not a bad setup, though the price is a little bit high. Let's, let's fly. See if we can get this thing in the air. Should be down and out to start the motors. Or auto takeoff. There we go. Just hit auto takeoff. Give it a little throttle. Okay, we're in the air. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and press and hold the video button, and you guys are gonna love this. Here we go. That's our video button. And, for some reason, they have decided that it is a good idea to have this awful beeping to let you know that you're recording video. Oh, I miss our break from drones already. I do too. <laughs> okay, let's not do video on this video drone. Just go with screen recording. Yeah, so um, it's asking if we, yes, let's allow it to access the photos. And you're sure that you are uh, doing the screen recording here? Should be. That's all we're relying let's on, hope. so. All right, now this whole hover is actually relying on the GPS, and I'd say we have five mile an hour breezes to eight to nine mile an hour gusts. So that's pretty good, honestly. It's right now it's so hot, I wish the gusts were stronger. <laughs> oh, me too. Abby and I are standing here in 95 degree Fahrenheit. Turn the drone around. Weather, and we are just sweating. Hot. Oh yeah, what do you guys think of the airplane on there? <laughs> nice. I've got our biplane on the front of it. I thought it looked awesome. <laughs> it does look awesome. Our sticker, that's yeah. what he's talking about. Well, if you guys want to get some of your own RC Sailor stickers, because you're not going to be buying this drone, we'll have it linked in the description box below by this drone. You know, anytime we'll, we do a drone video, that's the only thing you're going to get out of it is <laughs> stickers. Stickers are good. No, no, not so much. Our goal is to find good drones for you guys. It's just unfortunate that there are not very many good drones out there. Can you believe that someone would charge $200 for this? and you have an awful beeping like that. Now to some of you, maybe you don't care. All right, now I let my hands off the controls since I brought it out to that spot. And I think with Abby's recording, you guys can see that it is flush, 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 toilet bowl. And it's progressively getting worse. Now let's see if I can override that manually here. See if I can just get it to hover. Sometimes these drones that don't have a visual position hold, now I'm hands free again will do this with a little bit of wind. It'll just kind of get it going out of control. This is getting really bad. 
what is with all these cheap GPS drones that do this? And if there's anyone out there telling you that this thing is good, be very careful about who you're listening to because we haven't even had this in the air for two minutes now. With a successful compass calibration, and uh, and this is, we're getting huge wide sweeping turns here. Uh, before it gets worse, because we do have club members up here, I'm, I've got manual controls over the drone again. I can see it now. Right over the tree line by the cloud there. You see that? Just some hovering in one spot. You guys got to give Abby credit too because she's standing in the bright sun trying to find this little drone yeah, far away. White drones are the worst. On a, on a fairly overcast day. Can you believe, we have these clouds and we're pushing 95, 96 yeah. degrees. White drones on overcast days. So here we go. This is what happens Shoo. when I take my hands off the controls. Again, a very good solid compass calibration. We got a success from the app and uh, that's just not good. Now that doesn't mean that you can't get a good drone for cheap that won't do this. You know, WJ was just up here flying his GPS drone with brushless motors that has a really nice camera on it and flies really well uh, and they it retails for like $60 cheaper than this. So they're out there. The only thing it doesn't have is a... Actually the camera does tilt up and down on it. Guys, I just, I can't test things like active tracking and follow me functions when the drone does this when you take your hands off the controls. That's full throttle up and we're down, we're down. So I think we can stop the screen recording and wrap this video up pretty easily. Yeah, yeah. At first glance and first impressions, if you were just shopping on Amazon and you saw this drone, you would think, hey, that's gotta be a great drone. $200, comes with a nice case, two batteries, rechargeable transmitter with everything labeled, which I love, you guys know what I love They lab when they label these. And, and the drone sure does have that shape and uh, you know resemblance of a Phantom. And that's still kind of the, the first time buyer that knows nothing about drones. They'd see this and they'd think, well that's, that's a fifth of the price of a, of a good Phantom. But you know, it's not so cheap that you're gonna find this on the shelf at Walmart. It's got to be a good drone, right? Unfortunately, no. Our experience was absolutely horrible. We, we've had a ton of drones fly very successfully out here with a good solid, solid compass calibration and not doing the toilet bowl spinning out of control. That's just a dangerous drone. I'm not saying that this wouldn't... There, there are probably hundreds if not thousands of people that have bought this drone and they've had a fairly successful stable flight. As a matter of fact, when we took off, it hovered and flew successfully as well, you know, but then it, when we flew out a little farther away, gained a little altitude, it started doing the toilet bowling. So we cannot test anything beyond that because it can't even hover. That's a huge pass and I hopefully saved somebody out there a couple hundred bucks. If you appreciate that, please tell us thanks by supporting us in, the, in our Patreon page linked below. Right by the link to this drone, we'll have our Patreon page. You can get awesome RC Sailor stickers for your RCs to proudly show that you support us and you can just know that a huge portion of those funds actually go to our channel and help uh, keep good things coming. And, and guys, a lot of people get concerned about Patreon being a monthly bill. You can sign up for one month yeah. and get stickers and then cancel. Yeah. Just so you know. If you want to. But we also have a new sticker loyalty program. So the longer you stay a patron, the more stickers you get and the cooler the stickers get That's right. with time. Yeah, they are very cool. And they're, they're waterproof. They all hold up really well. I've taken, I put these stickers on our Scout 2 and just completely submerged them in mud, murky water. And they come out just looking better than the body. A lot of times they, they hold up really well. You know, on paper this drone looked great. Unfortunately, its performance was horrible. Well, obviously this is a pass, but I want to know from you guys, even though we didn't come out of the gate with a winner, are you happy to see a drone back on the channel? Are you one of the people that have just been loving all the trucks we've been doing with an occasional airplane thrown in? Or are you happy to see some more aviation out here at the airfield? I'd love to know from you guys because based on your feedback, that's why we have this $200 drone on the channel today. Uh, if it wasn't for your overwhelming response of please do more drones, this wouldn't be back on the channel. So please let us know in the comment section below. More drones, are you happy about that? Maybe one drone a week. What would be your ideal drone situation on our channel? Because I assure you, there are enough drones out there. We could probably do three a day, every day, and not cover all the drones that are out there. They're just 
it's that many. We're trying to do you guys a service and that's basically been our channel since day one. Obviously we like to get out here and have fun with this stuff and if we can bring you guys along with us that's great but occasionally we stumble across something that is so amazing it needs to be shared with everybody or it's so bad that it definitely needs to be told to the world not to buy this. We've, we've seen the market shift because of honest reviews, not just ours, but a few other honest people out there. If enough people say something is bad, it won't sell. They'll make improvements and put out better products. So that's the point of our channel. Well, if for some reason you're still interested in this drone or you just wanna check it out for yourself because you can't believe the price, we'll have a link in the description box below. More importantly, if you wanna support us and what we're doing for the RC hobby, we'll have our Patreon page linked in the description box below. You know, before we go, we've also had people tell us that we're so, we should come to the airfield and fly this 10 times until it does finally work, best case scenario, and then show that as a demonstration. I totally disagree. If a person that's flown over a thousand drones now cannot get this to work without doing a ton of tinkering, you guys need to know about it because I highly doubt there are other people out there that are gonna buy this for $200 and do everything they can to get it to fly perfectly. Hey, that's just my, my two cents. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Bye!